Albertans are facing one of the most challenging times in our history. Over the past four months, we've been hit hard by the triple threat of the largest public health crisis in a century, the biggest global economic contraction since the 1930s, and an unprecedented collapse in energy prices. And all of that on top of five years of tough economic times. We are facing a real effective unemployment rate of perhaps as high as 25%. Far, far too many Albertans are out of work. Families are filled with anxiety about how they'll pay the mortgage and what the future holds. Tens of thousands of businesses are struggling to survive right now, to make the next payroll, to cover the rent. New graduates are wondering if there is a place for them in Alberta's economy. Our future is truly at stake. Hi guys, welcome back to the Canada If Home channel. My name is Wolo. If this is the first time you are seeing my face or seeing this video, I want to say a very big thank you to you and I'll ask that you subscribe to this channel. Yes, please subscribe because I keep sharing information, latest information about immigrating to Canada and life in Canada. And a lot of people keep sending me emails about information I have already shared. So what I will ask you to do, if this is your first time, just to take your time to go through the videos, go through any of the videos I have uploaded. And if you do not find anything relevant to you, then you can send an email. But if you find something relevant to you, then you don't need to send my email because I keep receiving emails from people asking me how they can come to Canada. I mean, if you have taken the time to go through the videos, you would know how you can come to Canada because I have done so many videos on immigrating to Canada. And today's video is not a good news, but I have to still share it because it's an update on immigration. And that is Alberta has uh, announced that they will be reducing immigration intake this year. They will be connecting unemployed Albertans to jobs that they want to create. So they are planning to create more jobs but they want to like conserve it for people living in Alberta. And I did a video sometime back when the Premier was hinting about it. But now they have announced it and they did some publications. I'm also going to show you the video of where um, he was talking about the immigration levels. And they have written to Ottawa. Um, that's the federal government that gives out provincial nominations. So if you don't know, the federal government gives out about 6,000 provincial nominations to each of the provinces. And so far, Ontario has the highest allocation of provincial nominations. Whereas the other provinces have about 6,000 provincial nominations. I have talked about it before in some of my videos. So now, Alberta is saying that that 6,000 certificates that they are supposed to give to them or they have given to them for this year, they do not want all of them. They just want like um, maybe to third. I can't really remember, but they want just a few provincial nominations. And those provincial nominations will be targeting people who are investors. So the Premier specifically talked about the startup visa. I've not done any video concerning the startup visa. Um, I'll create time to do more research about it and then create a video about the startup visa. The target for Alberta is investors. They want to look for investors from different countries of the world in technology, in some other aspects of um, investment to come and invest in Canada and then use that opportunity to immigrate to Canada. So I'll be showing you the video shortly where the Premier was talking about it and why they decided to like reduce the immigration levels. So if you are actually targeting getting a provincial nomination from Alberta this year, um, I'm sorry about that. You have to look elsewhere. Yes, you have to look elsewhere for your provincial nomination. This year, Alberta is not looking at federal skilled workers again. They are looking at investors to give provincial nominations to. We will put Albertans first for available jobs by asking the federal government to remove most occupational categories under the Temporary Foreign Worker Program for Alberta while helping to connect employers to unemployed Albertans, making job training programs more responsive, and accelerating the Fairness for Newcomers Action Plan. Due to the impairment of international travel, 
and the deep jobs crisis will also reduce by at least one-third uh, the number of certificates to be issued under the Alberta Immigration Nominee Program this year, while moving ahead with key platform commitments to modernize our immigration program, like the Foreign Graduate Startup Visa Program, to support growth in the tech and innovation sectors. We will accelerate the future of the natural gas industry and a retooled program to incentivize potentially tens of billions of dollars of investment in the petrochemical sector, which will add value to our natural resources. We will implement sector-specific strategies to drive diversification, including in agriculture and forestry, tourism, technology and innovation, aviation, finance and fintech or financial technology, and creative industries. Work is well advanced on each of these sector strategies and they will be released in the weeks to, and months to come. We will amend the Alberta Re Labor Relations Code to further cut red tape that impedes job creation. Our plan will mean job creation now, starting this week, and it will put Alberta on a plan for a generation of growth. Just as Albertans have pulled together to flatten the curve and to save lives, we must now show the same spirit of resilience and enterprise to save livelihoods, to recover, to grow, and to thrive as a province once again. But let me say what we're doing is, first of all, exercising our uh, power under the uh, Temporary Foreign Worker Annex to the uh, Alberta-Canada Agreement on Immigration Cooperation which allows us to identify uh, certain occupational categories uh, for not to be processed uh, for labor market impact assessments for the temporary foreign worker program. I know that's a lot of technical language, but what it effectively means is we're asking Ottawa uh, not to process applications for temporary foreign workers. Uh, in It will be in a range of dozens of occupational categories, the vast majority of occupational categories. Uh, for a, and, and the reason for this is because, as I've said, we're facing a real unemployment rate of between 20 and 25% across all ages and skill levels. And it is uh, extremely difficult for me to justify uh, employers looking outside Alberta to bring people in to a la labor market in the midst of an unprecedented crisis. So what we are doing is, is, is telling employers uh, uh, in the vast majority of occupations that they will not, for the time being, be able to access the Temporary Foreign Worker Program. There will be some uh, ex exceptions to this, in particular uh, areas where there ha have been long-term and, and, cl and clearly proven uh, uh, dis discrete skill shortages. I'll give you one example. Uh, advanced meat cutters in meatpacking plants. Uh, but we want to address those challenges by set setting up uh, targeted training programs, working with those employers, and if ne as necessary, to offer incentives for Alberta to get trained up and fill those jobs um, uh, right now. Uh, and so there will be uh, some, um, a gradual implementation of this in areas like, for example, agricultural occupations. But in areas like, for example, the, the, the single largest uh, in, uh, sector, which has uh, used the uh, TFW program in the past, has been uh, the hospitality sector. Um, uh, for example, it, restaurants. And we just simply, you know, with tens of thousands of young people and, and restaurant workers out of work, we just cannot justify uh, using having the government use, or the employers use the TFW program. So it's, it's effectively largely a suspension of the TFW program that we will be implementing through our authority under the Canada-Alberta uh, Cooperation Agreement. On immigration, when I, the difference is TF, t temporary foreign workers come in on work permits, temporary residents. Immigration deals with people who arrive or get permanent residency, which is a path, of course, to citizenship. And uh, Alberta has the immigrant nominee program. Uh, the federal government gives us uh, as many as 6,250 certificates that we can issue to people uh, to get permanent residency uh, to stay in Alberta. Uh, what we're saying is that because of the effective collapse of international travel, uh, there, there's really no way that we can hit that target. And secondly, uh, we also think it's prudent to reduce the number of certificates that we will issue under the Immigrant Nominee Program. Uh, we'll be going from 66,250 to no more than 4,000 uh, this year. Um, 
for a number of obvious reasons. Uh, one, people can't come here in any event. Secondly, they would be coming, in most cases, to face unemployment. Thirdly, the uh, data and research is very clear that newcomers who arrive in the midst of a serious recession do much less well throughout their entire lives in Canada than those who arrive during periods of economic growth. So I don't think we would be doing anybody a favor to bring them into an incredibly tough labor market. We instead want to focus on getting Albertans, including the newest Albertans who have only recently immigrated here, we want to connect them with uh, available jobs. Uh, and so for all of those, and, and I would just say that this is a conventional response to deep downturns in the mid-1970s and the early 1980s. Uh, Pierre Trudeau's government uh, significantly cut immigration targets uh, because of uh, double-digit unemployment. So we think this is the right thing to do for newcomers, for our broader economy. It's also, frankly, um, just a reflection of the reality that people are not traveling in any event. What, one last nuance, I'm sorry for the long answer, but it is a complex area. Uh, one last nuance is we are committing to moving forward with the Alberta Advantage immigration strategy reforms that were outlined in our platform last year. This was, by the way, by far the most detailed immigration platform ever presented in an Alberta election. And that includes a couple of very important programs to stimulate uh, job creating growth in the technology and innovation sectors. Uh, like, for example, the um, I mentioned the startup visa. Uh, and, uh, and one of the biggest problems in our tech sector is a lack of uh, people with relevant skills, uh, something we obviously hope to develop through training programs here in Alberta, uh, but we also want to encourage uh, folks who are going to do startup enterprises to move to Alberta, create jobs, that program. So we're not shutting down immigration. We're going to maintain uh, our immigration program at, at somewhat reduced levels given the economic crisis, and we're going to focus more on folks who will come here and start businesses, for example, in the tech sector. So that was the video concerning Alberta provincial nomination, and I hope that you subscribe to this channel, share this video to your friends and loved ones. Stay tuned to this channel because I keep sharing latest updates. Latest update that will be beneficial to people, yes. Just stay glued to this channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.